The Nigerian Senate has passed the Medium-Term Expenditure Framework and Fiscal Strategy Paper MTEF-FSP for 2024-2026 set of assumptions that will be used to prepare the country's budget over the next three years. The Upper Chamber approved the document with a borrowing plan of 7.8 trillion naira for 2024, 9 trillion naira deficit and federal government total expenditure of 26 trillion naira. The Senate approved the benchmark oil price of $73.76 and $69.90 per barrel for 2024-2025 and 2026, respectively. These approvals were sequel to the consideration and adoption of the recommendations in the report of 2024-2026 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper at Wednesday's plenary. The report was presented by Senator Sani Musa and considered by the Committee of Supply with Goswil Akwabi as chairman and adopted in plenary. The Joint Committee, chaired by Senator Sani, observed that a significant number of the federal government's revenue generating agencies engaged in arbitrary, frivolous, and extra budgetary expenditure and recommended that a review of the law of all revenue generating agencies be carried out. The revenue expenditure framework upon which the 2024 federal government of Nigeria budget will be predicated is as follows. One, daily crude oil production will be 1.78 million barrels per day. Two, benchmark oil price will be USD 73.96 per barrel. Exchange rate will be $700, I mean 700 naira per dollar. Growth domestic product growth rate will be 3.76%. Inflation growth rate will be 21.40%. Federal government of Nigeria retained revenue will be 16.9 trillion naira. Total federal government proposed expenditure will be 26 trillion naira. Physical deficit will be 9 trillion for GOEs. New borrowings will be 7.8 trillion naira, including foreign and domestic borrowing. To all our colleagues, chairman of committees, that are overseeing these agencies of the government, to so please let us pay so much attention. Whenever they appear before you, it's what is the status of your revenue we want to see. And how much are you allowed by law to spend out of this money? For agencies that are exceeding or not following the law, they can be brought before the National Assembly to come and explain why they have to take more than what is expected of them in every financial year. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, another area I want us to please, as the chairman has said, in the area of waivers, in, two, in two, 2024 alone, they have provided for 2.7 trillion waivers. Who are the beneficiary of these waivers? What did they tend to achieve? Are they adding value to the economy? And why are they granted these waivers? And this is one area I believe is of interest and utmost importance to us as a Senate if the economic agenda of this current administration must be met. Another recommendation that attracted a debate was the recommendation that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, NNPCL, work towards reducing its production and operational costs to increase available government revenue after the polarized arguments, the resolution was adopted unaltered. So I think what we need to do is for our oil-related, oil and gas-related com uh, committees to really engage with the NNPC and whoever is involved as an operator to know how we can do that. It's very sensitive and I will not advise that we simply say they should go and reduce. We should find it, we should find a way of making it possible for engagement to know exactly what can be done. But if we say we just fight a company, we should just say go and reduce it. How do we, how, how do we know? So I, I, I advise that we should be very careful. Thank you on this very simple recommendation. All we want is how do we make NMPC to reduce its production cost. As said by 
uh, celebrate the emeritus, Ahmed Lawan. Uh, at one time, production cost per barrel used to be $20. And now NMPC has worked and brought it down to about $15 per barrel. And according to what Mele Kerry, the GM of the NMPC, is saying, they are working towards reducing it by about $10 per barrel. So uh, all we need to say is that NMPC should continue to reduce its production cost. Simple. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.